Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel, Subscription Boxes and More with Michelle. And if this is your first visit, I hope it won't be your last. What is it that I have to share with you today? Well, something in this package. Let's open it up and see what we have. Hey Makeup Go, H-E-Y-M-K-G-O, and their makeup brushes. Hopefully you can see that. Retro and Noble Morandi Color Makeup Brushes Set made with soft and dense synthetic fibers to provide a high definition finish with liquid powders or cream foundation without any absorption of product and no shedding. And let's read about what it contains. Set contains one angle powder brush and you spread out powder evenly with that one. Two is an angle brush for blush, bronzer, contour, and foundation. Three is an angle round brush for blush, bronzer, contour, powder, and foundation. Well, yeah, there's 15 in here. There's too many to read. I'm gonna read them, but let's, let's see if we can figure them out as we go. All right, so, oh wow, it comes in a nice, whoops comes in a nice bag with the logo on it. Hopefully you can see that okay. It's really soft. And inside of there are 15. Oh my goodness. I dropped one. Hang on. Guys, it takes two hands for me to hold them all. See if they're numbered on on the brush itself. No. All right. Well, we were reading about the different brushes. Uh, tapered number five is tapered brush concealer around the eyes and nose for highlight T area. Six is round concealer brush basic concealer skin imperfections or blemishes. Seven is a flat eyeshadow brush for basic eyeshadow primer. Eight is a blending brush for eyeshadow or concealer. Nine is detail eye eyeshadow brush for detail eyeshadow. Ten is a small concealer brush, further concealer skin imperfections. Eleven is an angle eyeshadow brush shape to shape your eyebrows. Twelve is a lip brush, outline your lips. Thirteen is an angle eyeshadow brush for detail eyeshadow use. 14 is a small fan brush, remove excess powder, and 15 is a spiral eyebrow brush to define your eyebrows. All right, well guys, I'm going to admit to you that I don't know the different brushes real well, but we're gonna look at them, um, and you guys probably will know what they are. Let me see, this one, they, they have the logo. All right, first of all, they have this really nice net over the, um, over the brush to keep it nice and I like to keep these uh, for when they're not in use so that they stay nice so this is one of the angle brushes definitely good for for doing like blush and stuff at least that's what I would use it for and again I'm going to admit I am not really uh, well versed in makeup and brushes but Hopefully you can see that it has the logo on the handle. Hopefully you can see it. It's kind of hard to see. These are some of the softest. Oh my goodness. I cannot even tell you. I wish I could explain how soft. Um, other than it feels almost like you're petting a rabbit. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of that is this soft. It's even softer than my kitty cats. So I'm going to put the cover back on it to keep those really nice as bristles. So there's that brush. I'm going to put them in the bag as we look at them so we don't look at the same one twice. Here is another angle brush, but it's smaller. And I think that this, this might be for like contouring. really really super super soft I have never felt makeup brushes this soft before 
and I've got a lot of makeup brushes. I just don't wear a lot of makeup. That, I can't even explain, not even begin to explain how soft they are. And that's just like a, a bunny tail. It's so soft. So soft. Probably I'm not showing these off to the best, uh, you know, but I'm trying. Oh, look at this one. More of a rounded, it's kind of angled, but rounded, if that makes sense. I'm not sure where these, you know. I'm sure that if you're watching this, you probably know the uses of these brushes. And you're probably saying, Michelle, that's not how you use them. I'm just feeling how soft they are. Well, look at this one. It's a nice round brush. I am just amazed at how soft these are. Crazy soft. Okay, that's all the ones that have the netting on them. And then we have a different, like, I think these are different eyeshadow brushes and things. Here's a couple of them. One that's rounded and one that's angled. Rounded and angled. And again, these are just as soft. Just as soft. Yeah, that'll feel really good to put on eye makeup and stuff. There's a couple other ones. This is a nice rounded brush here. This one's rounded also. This one's more flat and this one's more of a round brush. So hopefully you can see that. And here's some that are very similar but to each other but this one's a more rounded sorry a cat's knocking things on this one's a more flat brush this one's more rounded and this one has more of a angle to it and it's flat too and they're just minky soft I'm gonna have to get somebody to teach me how to do makeup properly I think this might be a lip brush, but I might be wrong. You guys would know better than me. It's angled and flat. Wow. And really soft, but yet it's a little stiffer than the other brushes, but but, but yet soft. Here's the fan brush. That one at least I know is a fan brush. I guess you, you know, sort of dust off the excess or whatever. And then there's a spoolie for doing your brows and stuff. Really nice. Even it is really soft. That's really soft. Not scratchy like some of them that I've seen. I love the color. It's sort of a gray-green, the handle. And... Again, let's see if I can pop these out of here without messing them up. So we can look at them again. I'm just messing them up, trying to get them out. Let's see, 15 beautiful, beautiful brushes. I should take these off so we can look at them. But then I'll have to put them right back on. Look at those. Look at them. Those are the nicest, most beautiful brushes I have ever owned. And I'm going to need someone to teach me how to use each of them. Watch some. I dropped one. You know, watch some videos, maybe. Some tutorials on makeup 
and um, I'm going to put these back on them because I really want to know how to use them properly and how, how to apply my makeup properly. Um, especially since I have such fancy brushes. Put these all back on so that they'll stay really nice. I would really, really hate if any of these brushes got messed up before I even learned how to use them properly. I think I lost one of my little... No, there it is. I thought I lost one of my nets. So, like, if you wash out your brush and you let it dry first before you put the nets back on, I'd probably be the best, rather than putting it on them wet. I'm assuming, but I keep them. Maybe some people don't, but I keep the nets and put them back on after they're nice and clean and because I want them to stay super duper nice. Oh, I just pulled that one off. These, I'm not kidding, are the nicest makeup brushes I have ever, ever owned. I would like to, um recommend them to you you know i'm always honest and if i didn't like them i would tell you but i love them they would make an awesome gift they you know for somebody else or for yourself um these ones i, I thought about passing them along to someone but i think i'm going to keep them for myself and learn how to use them but um they are amazing really amazing and I would pick these up. I would uh, definitely, they're, they're worth the money. I will have the link in the description and all the information uh, that you need to get yourself some or some as a gift. Don't forget, you know, Christmas season is not that far, that far off. It's already September, so this would make a really good gift. Um, tell me what you think. I wish that I could, you know, put on some makeup and show you just how to use them but I would just look like a fool because I don't know how to do it I don't know what to use for what um anyways guys tell me what you think and give me a big old thumbs up because you know that, that would really help my channel and please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with others so that maybe they might subscribe as well and maybe they need some really good makeup brushes Thank you so much for watching and for listening to me babble, and I'll see you again soon in another video. Oh, and they were sent over to me for review. Thank you. Thank you for sending them. They are amazing. Bye, guys.